Welcome to Prep Your Data. We're a startup company aimed at making it easy to clean up messy data yourself without programming your advanced Excel skills so that you can quickly get on with analyzing your data. This week we're looking at the problem of creating a type or category column based on values in an existing column. Here I have a spreadsheet of cities in the USA, each of which has a state. I need to create another column which assigns these into sales regions. For reference, I have this map of our sales regions. As you can see, there are six of them. North, West, North Central, Northeast, Southwest, South Central, Southeast, and they divide along state lines. Of course, this is just an example of a much broader class of problems. You could be assigning people to job types, customers to industries, etc. So here we are in Prep Your Data, and I've already loaded the US cities data. If I click on it, it shows me all of my columns, and if I click on the state, I immediately get to see how many rows I have with each of these states. I'm going to add this category column. So I'm going to add it, and it's initially created a new category for me. First state I want to deal with is Alabama, so I'm going to drag that across, drop it in the selected category, and I'm going to rename that as Southeast. Next is Alaska. I'm going to drag that across and drop it in the empty space. That's created a new category, initially called it Alaska. Of course, I'm going to rename it Northwest. Arizona is in the Southwest. So is California. So is Colorado. And in fact, so is Hawaii. So I can select those and I'm going to add a category. It's named that things like Arizona, I'm going to rename it to be Southwest. Arkansas is in the South Central, so we need to create that. Connecticut is in the Northeast, so is the District of Columbia, and Maryland, and Massachusetts. So we'll add that. Florida is in the Southeast, so I can just drag that across and drop it on the Southeast there. Same with Georgia and I can work through one state at a time or multiple if I just uh, see them. I can also use filtering. Uh, if I filter on states that begin with the word new, I have a hunch that a lot of those are up in the Northeast. All right, New Mexico is maybe the exception that's in the Southwest. Uh, but all of the others are in the northeast. So I can carry on assigning these things. As I've been assigning them, they've been, di been disappearing off the left-hand side and my list has been getting shorter. Uh, in fact, over here on the right, top right, I can see some counts that I've assigned 142 of 289 rows, so I'm more than halfway through my data already. I can carry on assigning these, and if I make a mistake, let's say I put Illinois in the northeast, and I realize that Illinois should be in north central. I haven't created a north central yet, so let's just create a north central. Go back to the northeast, grab Illinois, and just move it to the north central. And add Indiana, Iowa to that north central one on here. So here I am just finishing up my last few states at Texas, south central, Utah, southwest. Virginia, 
Northeast, Washington State, Northwest, and Wisconsin, North Central. I've finished my list. I can see that I'm done. And I can also go through now and just check that each of these has the states I expected in it and maybe compare that with my map to see that I've got the right count and I can reassign things if I need to. To finish off, I'm just going to name that column. And I've created my sales regions column. If I go back to here, I can see my new sales regions column and I can either save that as a new file or I can copy the whole thing to the clipboard to get it back into Excel. Our goal is to save you time in data cleaning and preparation. In this case, a purpose-specific UI allows you to concentrate on making the right assignments, saving you time and reducing the chance of errors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch our other videos showing prep your data solving other common data cleaning problems.